So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to click on change advanced power settings. Then we're going to expand USB settings. Then you want to expand USB select to suspend settings. And then you want to change this to disabled. And then click on OK. Now for the second method, you want to head over to search again and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Then you want to click on power options on the top. Then you want to click on choose what the power buttons do. Now once we're on this, we're going to click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And then you want to untick turn on fast startup and then click on save changes. Now for the third method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to expand universal serial bus controllers. And then you want to find the USB root hubs. You want to try to uninstall all of them. So for the first one, you want to right click on it and then click on uninstall device and click on uninstall. I'm not going to uninstall it because it's fine for me, but you uninstall it. So once you uninstall it, you want to uninstall all the other ones. Then you want to click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes. And then it should appear again. Now, if it's still not working, then instead you want to uninstall the unknown USB device, which I'm going to put on screen right now. You want to right click on it and then click on uninstall. Now, once you've tried all the methods in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.